The 6.5 is on the road here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are at Dell Tech World 2025. And unsurprised to everybody, we are talking about AI morning, noon, and night. And whether that's data center, data center edge, client computer, we're talking hardware, software, wrapping up a nice bow with services. Yeah, it's been a big week. I mean, we're only on day two, Pat, but it's been action packed from start to finish. Every day the keynote, you know, day one, day two, a lot of building on what's going on here. Last year was kind of all about the yeah. deploying what was new. It was new data centers, new AI factories, new PCs. This was, the, it was sort of the AI PC moment. Yes. This year it's been a lot more about that bow you're talking about, wrapping it all together, bringing this technology to life. And I think there's a lot of people here that were really waiting to hear that. Yeah, making AI real. Uh, about a year ago, like you said, the whole AI PC craze really started to take off. We can debate whether it was 18 months ago or a year ago, but uh, this is when the you know high NPU performance PCs came out. So let's get a check in here with Sam Bird, Dell Technologies. Great to see you again. Hey, thank you for having me. Uh, it's always great to join you guys. Yeah, I love. I'm I'm rocking uh, the uh, system formerly known as XPS 13, uh, and take it everywhere I go. That's uh, great to hear, Pat. Yep. Yeah, the, I like the artist the... formerly known as Pat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. uh, so Sam, I liked great. you were thinking through there on the name. It's our new uh, Dell, soon to be Dell Premium, but yes. uh, XPS 13, yes. Uh, that still is my favorite Dell well, device. Formerly known as. Formerly yes. known as. It's still yeah. my favorite Dell device. So yep. that's the, it's just so powerful, lightweight, and really good looking too. Yep. Just like Pat. <laughs> um, so great job on the keynote this morning. Uh, really appreciate that. Data center's hot, but look, I think a lot of us see the exponential opportunity that is the edge. Um, that could be devices, that's obviously the edge, uh, you know, in terms yep. of connectivity, IoT, all those things. You're focused on the PC business. So talk a little bit about kind of the importance of AI at the edge and then what you see in terms of how the PC fits into that. Yeah, well, we've seen, I think you described well this kind of rocket ship journey that AI has been on. And what we've seen, and we talked about today as we really went through our keynote, you were seeing uh, Core Weave joined Jeff on stage, and you think about a large cloud service provider and massive scale infrastructure. Arthur talked about how that was extending to enterprise environments, and Jeff talked about some of our journey. We shared yesterday 3,000 customers putting the Dell AI factory in right. place in their environment. And then what I had the chance to talk about when we closed out the keynote was how that's extending to the edge. And we, we kind of call that the new frontier or the next frontier where, as you said, you think about 2030 and beyond, two billion PCs in an installed base, hundreds, thousands of tops in those systems, there's going to be tremendous AI capability on the device. And in a world where you think about, uh, for lots of reasons, you want to have AI where the data is, 75% of the world's data created on the edge, the PC is a great device to do that AI. So we started talking about what's possible on those devices yeah. and seeing customers start to think about how they take advantage of that kind of capability. Yeah, so the AI PC has been out for uh, a year or 18 months and you know, anytime there's a, big gen a new generation of technologies that are out there, it takes a while uh, for it to pick up, uh, yep. for customers to, to start um, making use of them, but I'm curious, how is Dell making AI PCs, I'll, I'll call it more real today than let's say a year ago? Well, you know, Pat, what we have seen is we're seeing software that will run on these devices. Yeah. And the first phase of that has been from different ISVs. And yeah. we've talked about this a whole bunch because uh, honestly, I look at it and maybe this is one thing in AI yeah. I thought would have happened faster but it took, a little, it took a little longer. We saw last month Copilot Plus features now really in yes. Big deal. people's hands. Big deal on right. the software that literally hundreds of millions of users or billions of users are using. Yeah. So um, you see that kind of software. We see ISVs starting to show up with software and it's intelligence built into those yeah. apps that they're building. So that's to me the, the promise and change we've seen over yes. the the past year of, okay, I can start to get my hands on what this looks like. We are a, we are very tech forward, so you think about us driving NPUs farther down our product stack, 
We're trying to get our customers ready. I think about corporate customers who, yes. more than a consumer, where it's like, what can I do today? Corporate customers are going, how do I have a device that works in two, three years time? And that's where they're imagining this world where the apps work. And then we, we could talk a little bit about companies starting to think about how they run their apps on the device, which you know, to me is a really exciting kind of really unlocking the capability of the PC. Yeah, one thing for sure that I'm seeing too is, I mean, we have this big Windows 11 refresh coming up and enterprise IT has a decision which is, hey, do I go with a non-AI PC or an AI PC? It's a, a five-year investment for them. I've not talked to a single one of them that at least for, I'll call it information workers, that, that they're not deciding to use an AI PC. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. And you heard it today of, you think about how AI is transforming industries, you want to be ready. And the person buying PCs wants to be ready. Um, I'll share with you a statistic we see as we just went and surveyed customers. 35% of uh, IT decision makers said they expect to be running small language models on PCs in the next year. So you think about your horizon of three to four years, you're going, how do I get a AI capable PC that'll run 40 tops plus? And I can share a little bit, we announced our Dell Pro AI Studio yes. uh, today, and we've had that in kind of beta alpha mode, broader availability yeah. that really helps companies think about what's possible and uh, be able to really plan for that future world of using the MPU yeah. on the device. Yeah, uh, Sam, you know, our research is, you know, we've been tracking the market, and one of the things that is for sure is what you and Pat just said is everyone is moving that way. Now part of the migration is you've largely made the options not to less and less attractive. I mean that is what yep. happens as new technology proliferates and diffuses yep. as old technology comes out. Where I think there's an opportunity and I'm seeing some real progress here this week is to kind of help the people understand why do they need 40 tops? Why does one with 20 tops not work? Why do I want to push to the, you know, the highest performing MPU system? What difference is, and I think a lot of that comes out with software. Uh, and I think you're going to have a chance in a second to get to this, but I do want to ask you about customers. Because yep. whether it's been your keynote, whether it was Michael's keynote, um, you guys have been incredibly focused this week in kind of trying to talk to the audience through the lens of the customer. So you've got volume in market now, you're kind of into your next generation, you've got silicon diversity. What are you sort of hearing from the customers that have taken on the AI PC? So not the ones still deciding, yep. the ones that have bought and have started to implement. Yeah, well we've heard, one, been hugely uh, focused on customers. You heard us uh, extolling our cu customers and urging them to move fast on AI. We shared some of the benefits we've seen internally. We had customers on stage sharing what they've been able to do with AI. And then the thing, I'd, I'd say two things I'm hearing. One is what you, you talked about, I want to be ready for the future. If I turn the clock back a year ago, some of the conversations I had with customers, when we started talking about what you could do on the PC, you saw light bulbs go off. Because they were like, well, AI, that's yeah. my infrastructure colleagues problem to yeah. sort out. I'm the PC person. We started going, well, wait, think about workloads across you know, data center all the way to the edge and all those devices. And that's where they started going, geez, I'm going to run AI on everything, yes. and I need, as my company's on a mission to transform, do things differently, I need to be working with my enterprise counterpart and going, what things are going to be right on the PC, what things are going to be in the data center, and um, you know, forward-leaning companies are going, I want to be ahead of that. There's also the stick part of that, of like, hey, I don't want to be the guy who a year, or gal, a year, or a year and a half later, oh my gosh, I got the wrong thing, and I got to go get the right thing. So companies are starting to think about how that fits in their environment. And then what we're seeing, Dan, um, we're seeing some leading edge companies start to take that, how do I get models on the device? And the piece that's easier for them, yeah. like a, a capable AI developer can go download and get models running on the PC, but then what we've done with Dell Pro AI Studio is go, how do we get that across devices? How do you get it so your security folks are going to give you a check mark? So IT is going to give you a check mark that you can deploy the right model, you can keep that model up to date, you can have run times that are going to make that model perform, you can abstract at some level from the silicon and different ways you want to run the model. So we're helping them see like, wow, from that developer that can download a model 
hey, I can imagine a world where I'm going to run these on my devices. And we're in early days of that happening, but it's like the leading edge companies yeah. are exactly in that model, and that's what's exciting. We're trying to help them see what's possible, make sure they get the right systems and approach to you know, win as they think about the next couple of years. Yeah. Um, USAA, I like the way they very simply uh, put it on stage today, which is we have a lot of different workflows and things we want to get done, and then AI, some of it will be in the cloud, some of it will be in our data center, and some of it we want on our PCs. And um, there's this notion of hybrid, which even companies like Microsoft are slowly uh, rolling out. Uh, you've, you have talked a lot about how you're accelerating on-device AI. I do think AI Studio is one of the ways that you're doing it. Yep. I think you're changing it with uh, levels of communication. You're doing it just by having all of these different systems uh, available. What other ways are you accelerating on-device AI? Well, you know, and Pat, one thing I think you said that's really important there, you think about hybrid, and you've been a, I remember the discussions we had, you were a huge fan of that when it was like not an in vogue word yeah. to say, and it was either or, yeah. and everyone was convinced one thing was going to win, but we've seen, we've seen the world emerge that way, and yeah. like, like you say, you know, we're, we're doing that in how we architect things. Folks that are in cloud worlds are architecting. You know, we talked about Copilot Plus, yeah. like someone in an Azure world is going to make sure stuff also works on the device. Lots right. of reasons to do that for latency, for cost, for uh, privacy of, of data. So I think what you said there is really important that, that that's the world we see going into the future. Um, we're doing things with our Dell Pro AI Studio to make it easier for people to deploy models. Um, we're also innovating around hardware. So we announced a uh, discrete NPU card that adds capability yes. to the device. Uh, Dell Pro AI Studio is part of doing that because it runs Onyx runtime, it runs other runtimes. We can then right. support different hardware and abstract that for folks uh, who want to run bigger models on the yeah. device. We talked about uh, uh, companies in the, in the healthcare space trying right. to get large models outside of the hospital, outside of the data center, and that's one way to do that in a really power efficient form factor. So we're doing that with different silicon, we're doing that with great partners that are driving right. NPUs into their, their stack, we're adding hardware and software to really give customers the ability to innovate. Yeah, by the way, I don't, I don't get surprised a lot with product announcements, but you surprised me with that Qualcomm A100 device. There was, you know, maybe a little talk about that uh, around there, but uh, you know, I was getting you know briefed on it. It's like, oh my gosh, they they did it. They're actually going to productize this. So you got me on that one. Oh, that's that's good to hear. <laughs> uh, you don't often say that. I hope I can get a copy of this uh, when we're done. It'll be so. out there, and I stump him all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not particularly hard. By the way, uh, one more notable thing, uh, a real advantage of of, of on device, is power. I mean, yep. we talked about obviously there's the privacy and, and, and you know, but if you actually think about one of the biggest AI limit, rate limiters, and we've had a number of conversations even this week here, Sam, is yep. you know, the network, which is something Dell focuses a lot on. The other is, is going to be energy. I mean, it didn't matter what kind of global conference, whether it's the, you know, over in the Middle East, all the big dollars being spent, yep. whether it's across Asia, like we are going to be power limited. And so if enterprises can figure out how to get powerful AI, using that, lo that lower power envelope, and, and on-device offers a lot of that capability, a lot of value for these kind of everyday workloads that knowledge workers are trying to, trying to integrate. I think you're exactly right, super power efficient. We're going to see, you know, we talked about AI, and we talk a lot about AI being a generational impact to the, to the world, and you're going to see that run yeah. in data centers. You know, you guys know Arthur Lewis has a great story about ability to do consolidation with servers, create space, create power efficiency, and your point's yeah. great. Like the PC is absolutely part of that. Yeah. And we're about making it easier to run workloads on those PC devices. Uh, we also talked about our Dell Pro Max products with GB300, 20 petaflops, GB10, yes. one petaflop. So you can think about these super performance systems that are going to be in PC form factors He's, uh, sitting desk side rather than in a data Workstations staff. in the palm of our hands that have no. basically supercomputers built into them. It's pretty cool exponential times we live in. All right, Sam, let's, uh, let's do a little audience pleasing here as we wrap up the conversation. 
you've had a lot of announcements. Pat always likes to say, you don't, don't tell your kid which one is your favorite, but what are you most excited about in terms of your portfolio and all the announcements that came out this week? Hey, so I, I love uh, seeing what we're doing with AI. So enabling, the discussions I have with corporate customers are great on where they're going and we're innovating in hardware. I'm glad we, we uh, got one on, uh, on Pat there. You guys have been great guidance on where we need to go. We're putting hardware together with software. But you know, I'd be remiss. We talked about some of the products that we're shipping. I got a great new uh, corporate system that I'm using, super light. OLED display, amazing yeah. camera. That excites me, and one of my kids, huge gamer, our Alienware products, we just changed the whole design language, we call it Alienware 30. Uh, those products, and we got a huge one in a big chassis, Area 51, that's awesome. So that's the, that's the best, one. Yeah. That's, that's my highlight um, of this uh, of A little real-time time branding, yeah. Well, yeah. I like that. Well, Sam, I want to thank you so much for joining us here on the 6.5. It's always great to sit down with you at Dell Technologies World. Uh, let's do it again soon. I mean, this, everything's changing so quickly. Let's, uh, let's try to do this a bit more frequently. Sounds good. Always great to see you guys. Thanks. All right, and thank you everybody out there for joining us. We're the 6.5. We're on the road here at Dell Technologies World 2025 in Las Vegas. We're going to step away and take a little break, but we're going to be back really soon. Stick with us.